Nobody likes to give bad news. However, you guys are free! <laughs> so effortless for you to tell quite an, you know quite a deep story and, and to get that message across so beautifully is not an easy skill so that that for a start was fantastic now to your voice the power you have the effortless ribs it's too much for my brain to comprehend you are absolutely fantastic well done <laughs> Okay, so first question on Twitter is, let's find it, by Ali, and she said, what did Louis say to you after you sang your original song and told your story? Okay, I'm going to clear this up. Before we, before we delve into the questions, I want to clear this up. So there's been a video um, leaked of my full audition um, that I did at The X Factor. Obviously, I know that a lot of you wanted to see it, but if we did do, you know, if X Factor did broadcast the whole of everybody's audition, the show would be really, really long. And I know it's really upsetting that you guys didn't get to see it, um, but, you know, it would the show would be like three hours long if everybody's audition was aired. But I'll tell you quickly what I did. So I sang an original song called Confessions. Um, I wrote it about being with a guy um, but actually being in love with a girl and not wanting to kind of face that and not wanting to like accept it I was like really scared so oh, the whole gang is here, hi guys <laughs> um, so yeah I wrote that song about it and then I sang it um, it went down great and Louis, Louis' comments I can't remember exactly what he said because the whole day was such a blur but um, he just said that it was a great song and he loved it and he thought it was a beautiful story. Um, and he was just um, a, like a massive supporter of it and was just really, really complimentary, which obviously was amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. And I know you guys are mad. I know you're mad that you didn't get to see it. That's a difficult one because I think, you know, they all bring different things to to everybody. And, but I'd say like the main two are definitely Louis and, Louis and Simon, just because Simon's got so much experience and... And Louis, you know, being where I've been, so yeah. Well, it's time for my Mazel of the day. It goes to Gucci Tailoring's new campaign featuring Harry Styles as he adorably cradles various baby animals. Aww. But you know what? Don't we really think the baby animals love Harry Styles so much because he has those two extra teeth? <laughs> You do know he has extra nipples. He does? Yeah, yeah, he does. I actually um, know that. yeah. <laughs> News you can use, Toads. I didn't I'm tired today. Still tired. Too much parties. It's a coffee day. 9 a.m. Watching the Avengers. <laughs> 9 a.m. Tired. So last night was the Amphar Awards, and uh, my friend Edward got an award for courage. Uh, for bringing diversity to fashion. Uh, his speech was amazing. Uh, you should check out the pics online. Well done, Edward. And then today now, I have um, gone to watch the Dolce & Gabbana fashion show. My friend Jess is walking for the first time, so good luck, Jess. I hope you have a good one. Um, and to all my other friends who are walking, as well, have a good show. Yo, bro, what's your favorite type of light beer? Oh, uh, dude, I fucking love my life. <laughs> Bro, yes. Hey, Tucker. 
up, bro? Wanna come out tonight? Nah, bro. Stop busting my chops, man. <laughs> hey, Tucker. Great workout, man. Great workout, bro. Peace. Great hustle, bro. Man, you did so good. You have a good day, okay? Oh, Tucker, man. That is beautiful. <laughs> hey Tucker, Backstreet Boys are new kids on the block. That's a tough one, man, but I, I think I prefer Blink 182. <laughs> hey Tucker, glass or red solo cup? Matt, don't even ask me that, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> hey Tucker, man, I really want you to meet a friend of mine. His name is Connor. He plays violin. He's a sweet guy. You guys have got so much in common. I love to violin as well. <laughs> I'd love to meet him. Sounds great. I'm gonna sort that one right out. That's awesome. Hey Tucker, you want a cerveza? Cerveza, por favor, when in Europe. <laughs> hey Tucker, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, sir? Great to see you, man. Congratulations on your graduation. Man, congratulations on your album. <laughs> Tucker, Tucker, how do you feel about the end of tour, dude? <laughs> the slap two matches. It's been a bit weird, a bit of a weird day. It was a good, bad, and bad and good and all in, in one, but here we are. So now we're into the fashion show now. Got a coat on, fashion over functions, pray for aircon. That's all we can do. But hopefully we look nice. That show was fantastic. We just had a wonderful dinner. How do you sleep? I gotta go home and I gotta have a little rest before we uh, party later on again. <laughs> So with that being said, thanks for everything. It's been an absolutely fantastic year. I'll keep in touch with you, but now that the tour is finished and it's the end of an era, and the end of the Flickr era, if you like, we've had a great time. And I can't wait to go and make another record for you and we'll do it all again. I need you to be patient. Um, I don't know how quick the big songs are gonna come, if they do come or not. Um, you gotta be patient with me, give me time, and when I'm ready, you guys will be the first to know where I'm at and uh, we'll have a new tune for you. But um, this gives me the time now to 
sit my ass and have a good think and put my ideas, my musical ideas into action and write a few tunes over a month or so and then get in with some friends and write some songs. West Palm tomorrow and then after that we're, we're all headed home back to London uh, for a day or so and then over to Paris for me. Reality hits, everyone's just kind of like, what do we do now, blah, blah, blah. And then it will kick in next week that we're not on tour anymore. We played in every uh, corner of the globe over the last 18 months or so. And no show has been boring. Every show has been different. And, and you guys made it extra special. And uh, it was a really fun time. And we're all going to miss it big time. Reality hits. We've had an incredible year. Thankful for all of you guys coming out and watching the shows, um, getting involved spending your well-earned money as I say all the time to come and watch us I know it's not easy to get the gigs these days and I really appreciate it and I love you very much for that just finished the show in Tampa sitting backstage with all the gang hanging out having a few beers uh, just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you guys who came to a Flickr show this year it's been an incredible year we've all had a Tucker Tucker how do you feel about the end of tour dude Connor, are you upset? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, <laughs> how do you feel? Uh, I'm pretty torn up about it. Um, it's been a long 12 weeks, but I'm ready to get it home, so I'm going to miss the fuck out. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Toji, Toji. It's the last night. How do you feel? <laughs> so for all the Derby County fans out there, big three points today, 3-1 three against Brentford. Edge is a Brentford fan. He's absolutely fuming with me. He won't talk to me all day. Last night, boys. No, don't, I don't want to see you crying tomorrow. <laughs> <You're crying. laughs> Bennett, you crying? Don't cry, don't cry, honestly. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, I'm pretty torn up about it. Uh, it's been a long 12 weeks, but I'm ready to get it home. So I'm going to miss the fuck out. Yeah, I love you. I love you.